Good morning. It's uh, Valentine's Day morning. I'm Jim Salmons and I'm making this screencast uh, as a video update for my buddies Apostolos and Marco, uh, Daytech uh, 2017 uh, co chairs, so they can see the kind of progress we're making on our metadata discovery and curation tool for the Internet Archive. I mentioned that it's uh, Valentine's Day. It also happens to be our 27th wedding anniversary. We got married on the portico of the Zane Gray Hotel, Catalina Island, and later today, after we finish this video and get, get on the road, we'll be heading uh, down to Denver to go to the museum for the day and hit Pints Pub, where we will have authentic English cast-conditioned live ales hand-drawn by a gravity engine from a gravity engine and a wonderful Valentine's Day meal. So we look forward to that for the rest of the day. But in the meantime, I want to give you an update on what, what we're doing with uh, the ferret and the Internet Archive uh, for print page to uh, leaf ID mapping. The big picture, of course, we have two papers in to, to uh, Daytech 2017. The first one is about our interest in developing Fact Miner's magazine format, which is a superset of Primus page ground truth storage format. Um, and that is one um, based on Sidoc CR, a kind of an ontological stack of Sidoc CRM, FRBROO, and PressOO. And we're doing uh, this uh, kind of applied development project based on our interest in developing a complete ground truth edition of the 48 uh, issues of Soft Talk magazine, uh, early microcomputer history magazine. As we pursued that bigger picture work, um, we surfaced uh, an issue that was of a foundational nature for us in terms of our collection at the Internet Archive. And that has to do with realizing the, the essential nature of the print page number to leaf ID. Leaf IDs is another word for a file name for the scanned image of each page in a, a document at the Internet Archive. So our second paper, we developed a, a explanation of the kind of foundational nature of this mapping um, based on the CIDOC CRM. And we uh, uh, described the situation in terms of looking at uh, about 260 some uh, collections at the Internet Archive, um, how few page numbers there are that map page, print page numbers uh, to leaf numbers. So in, 1.4 million uh, pages uh, of computer magazines at the Internet Archive. So uh, we also showed some of the kinds of anomalies that um, you get when you're uh, scanning magazines, missing pages, uh, blow-in cards, uh, stubs of blow-in cards, and, and um, redos in the scanning process. All these things can contribute to a uh, a desynchronization of the leaf IDs to uh, print page numbers. Um, and in the last uh, screenshot on the paper we submitted, we showed a real early uh, version of what we call the uh, PPG to leaf ferret. Um, it's a uh, metadata discovery and curation tool um, that we're developing at FactMiners. Um, to make it efficient to uh, develop print page number to uh, leaf ID metadata and contribute it to collections at the Internet Archive. So where we are now is um, we've developed uh, the ferret to the point that it's extremely efficient at uh, helping to discover and uh, and curate uh, uh, the print page number to leaf IDs. And we've done that with, uh, this is a 
application that's based on WX Python and using WX widgets, the portable widget um, framework, um, and uh, and we're using TESS OCR for um, our threaded um, OCR of the corners of pages to discover print uh, page numbers and and whatnot. So um, when when I started this up and I'll and this is the first uh, issue of the collection. Um, when I started this up, it went out, grabbed all of the knows about all the issues, and and in fact, I'll just go ahead and and change to the next issue down here. What you see is some um, message, just uh, debugging messages telling me that it's gone out, looked at the scan data uh, file done a preliminary map of that and then spawned 10 threads to go out and start pulling down images of pages and uh, and their corners. And so here we know that the first page is always going to be the cover and so we're inferring that, that the leaf one is um, cover one. And that would make uh, the inside cover, cover two, it's inferred. We're inferring that this first leaf is, is one, even though it doesn't have it on there. It's a table of contents page. Page two, it thinks um, it, it, we're looking at the data that's in scan XML, but we're also testing that against what the OCR sees in the corner. And we haven't really uh, optimized that OCR process yet. And, and why the red is on there is that it's, confused because of the, the little um, extra ec things that threw the the uh, OCR scanning off there. So it's just telling, and we're saying, no, it's printed on the page. Um, it sees three, four, um, even though uh, five is there, it doesn't see it. Um, I'm hoping to, you know, improve the the uh, recognition of page numbers. The fact that I got it working, I'm, I'm pleased with. Um, and that it's working in threads um, independently of the user interface is, is great. Um, but I'll go along here and you can see that um, when we get to um, pages that are here's one. This would be a full page ad. Um, it, it's inferring that um, the number 13 is the correct um, leaf there. So uh, again, let me go to this next um, issue because I wanted to show you uh, this one has a couple more uh, mistakes in it in terms of uh, conditions to, to look at. But there's also a historic ad in here that uh, I'm uh, associated with and I wanted to show you that to end this screencast. Um, again, we're inferring that the cover one uh, and leaf one and two or covers one and two. For some reason, there is a four in the in the data for page one, and it's incorrect, but it's been highlighted because it doesn't make sense. We put it as a one. It's inferred because it's not printed on the page. It doesn't see that two because of the little weird stuff in the in the corner there. We'll just correct that. Three is fine, four is fine. Here's one, full page ad. Uh, it knows that it's uh, uh, made the assumption that that would be page five. It is inferred that. And uh, the interesting thing about this ad is that it is the first uh, computer software competitive upgrade um, ad, the use of a business model for uh, offering a trade-in for competitors' products. Um, I developed this business model at Muse when I was uh, co-founder of Muse, and it was based on a. a, a we had, this is SuperText too. We we were in the process of of encouraging our current SuperText customers to upgrade to SuperText too. When I looked at that and thought, well, based on that VisiCalc model, why can't the software industry be like 
the car industry. You, you trade in a car and you get some money for it to take the pain away from buying a new car. So that's what we did in this ad. Um, we, and, and oh my gosh, did it ever create a firestorm among uh, everybody in the industry because it was considered uh, an aggressive move um, that's now pretty standard in the industry. So that, um, and these again, I'll just keep going through a couple of pages, and you can see how uh, easily and quickly um, the ferret is uh, grabbing images of pages, um, doing OCR on the, the corners, making decisions about the data that's in the scan data file, um, uh, comparing that to what it sees on the pages, and makes it quick and easy. Uh, to curate, discover, and curate that all-important foundational metadata, which is, again, the print page number to LEAF IDs. Um, and in this case, we're looking at specifically at, at uh, collections at the Internet Archive. I hope you all are having a great day. I look forward to talking with you. By the way, I got the, the note about um, reviews, uh, my reviews, and I'm very excited about the lyrics. Uh, project at Warsburg and look forward to talking with you all more about that. So have a great day. Hope this uh, gives you some idea of where we're going with uh, the Soft Talk Apple project and FactLiners applied research and our uh, progress uh, that we would like to be able to showcase at Daytech 2017. Take care. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.